Hello and welcome to another video world. So kicking off the new expansion, the first deck I'm going to cover here is going to be a dragon deck. It's not going to be perfect, of course, there's going to be a lot of fine tuning going on in the next three to four days as the meta kind of warms up, which is pretty normal for these sort of videos. So this is just me throwing some stuff together myself and not really using any kind of guide to put these together. It's just what I think might work well. So kicking everything off, I put threw in just one Dragon Empress Odahime because I pulled one and I haven't bothered to make any legendaries yet, but we do have triple haste wing because we did get three of them, which is a really nice card and as you'll see, does perform pretty well. And of course I threw in the single Prince of, uh, sorry, double Prince of Darkness. I actually did craft a second one of these because so I want to build a few decks that might use Prince of Darkness, or Prince of Kyoto, sorry, Prince of Darkness was his old name, so that I can uh, take full advantage of hopefully the Excel and maybe even the replace deck kind of features, which you don't get to see much in this video, but he is in this deck as a really nice extra, especially if you get pulled into more of a late game. The really kind of key cards you'll see is something like Sneer of Disdain, and of course the old Serpent Drake works really nicely, but I hope to get to play a few more of the new cards, so let's get right into it and check it out. So our first matchup is going to be against Sword. As I mentioned, the meta is going to call to be all over the place, so it doesn't give a huge good representation of exactly how good this deck could be. This is just a little bit of fun to mess around with some new cards as we go into it. It's probably going to be like this, like I said, for a few days as we kind of work our way into what's going to be more meta and how we want to tech out the decks against each other. So it'll be much more interesting in, say, a week's time when everything kind of settles down. So we don't start off that well in this matchup. We didn't really have any kind of early game, which... Mm, kind of sucked. I really wanted to go with the Servant of Disdain. Unfortunately, the 2-1 kind of blocked that out. So Poseidon was the optimal choice. I also make a small misplay in this early game with my Serpent Drake, as you're probably about to see here. As I just accidentally played the Serpent Drake incorrectly. I should have actually just went Servant of Disdain and used Stainful Rend. Protected myself pretty well and set myself up for the next turn. But unfortunately I didn't do that, and that did cause us to lose our Serpent. At least we are going to be able to take advantage of Serpent of Disdain this turn, and we're going to be able to pretty much wipe this out and draw a couple of cards. And always make sure to play cards before ending your turn, as you're about to say, I make another small mistake. I, it was only really last turn and this turn that I made any kind of major error. So Disciple of Disdain really missed out an opportunity to draw two more cards, which would have been pretty decent, I think. Battlefield Muse, though. The mini expansion legendary added last expansion. Definitely a good card, but luckily Sneer of Disdain is where something comes in handy normally. We are going to be able to deal with this fairly well, even if we don't use Sneer, because, of course, we didn't get the best possible draws out of this. But we are going to be able to take advantage of Disciple of Disdain and go for some more draw. And then just waste our last Evo point because why not? No, actually, I think it's a, yeah, it's our second last Evo point, sorry, so it's not quite as bad. But Snare of Disdain is great, it's just hard to remove everything at the moment. I really like playing uh, Snare of Disdain when you can get some of those uh, other Disdain cards on the board that you can take full advantage of. It does make a wonderful card for doing things like that. Or dealing with situations like this where you just want to wipe out as much as you can. So, we get to take a chance on the ramp. I actually want to build a Dark Coyote deck, a Prince Coyote deck, sorry, that is going to be insane and unlimited. Hopefully, you guys will keep an eye out for that in the future, but I wanted to start off with something more simple and original. Like, we are using most of the base engine of Disdain, but that's pretty much in every Dragon deck these days. Now we get to play Odahime. Even as a one-off, I still managed to get to play it, and that was a lot of fun. Being able to just absolutely stomp that whole follower there, just with four rushes. And it gives us a pretty decent follower to absorb some damage here, before going into our turn 9, which will most likely end up being a frenzied Drake play to remove the board. And set up a decent 7-7, a sword doesn't deal well with massive followers. Especially when they don't have any Evo points available. So, if we can even just drop a Poseidon next turn, we'll be looking fairly decently. Especially considering what they just played. If we can just drop the Poseidon and go face, our victory is almost 100% secure. That is also our third big drop here. We did play the Otohime, Frenzy, Drake, and Poseidon. Once we get four, we will get a Haste Wing. 
So I am probably looking at a Azzy Dahaka, as it is a 6 Storm. Plus the, four, the 3 from the Haste Swing, and whatever's on board will be way more than enough. Honestly, the Ice Dahaka was enough on its own, or even just the Haste Swing we had in hand. But it's much more fun to use Invocation to pull this off, so why not? And it did end up pulling our victory right there. Now this match is a little quicker, of course. We are up against the Blood, so no surprise there. But I really, really enjoyed playing this match just because of uh, how many Serpent Drakes we were able to get out of one card. As you'll see in this matchup, it's pretty nuts when it goes off. We also did get the Prince of Coyotes, which was awesome to have in hand. I'm actually very tempted to animate that. I do have a couple of globes that I've been saving for quite a long time. So we started off fairly well. Disdainful Rand, Dragon Sword, Serpent Drake. All really good cards to hold on to at the moment. And of course, Dragon Oracle. That sets us up really well for turn 4. Or turn 3, sorry, which will be 4 play points. And Servant of Lust makes a really good Disdainful Rending target. So... Disdainful Randing is going to be great here. We're going to get another 3-2 out of this. And we're even set up with another Sneer of Disdain. If we want to use it that way. Oh, double Sneer of Disdain. I don't really want to trigger it too much. I mean, as long as you have a damaged Serpent Drake, you're always going to be generating Serpents. And we do have a 3-1, so constantly generating more Serpents is always a good thing. Wardrobe Raider would have been a good option if there was only two Serpents, so I'm really glad I didn't use Sneer of Disdain. But now we're going to have a really good turn with Sneer of Disdain, being able to just proc our own follower and even ramp up. We should be able to pretty easily go face for another three damage. So just absolutely dominating this early game with Serpent Drake. Our opponent even went for a Prince Codus. An interesting one in a blood deck. Must be a more control orientated blood, I would say. And they are going to try and target something. They do end up killing the 4 4 because they don't want to die next turn. Fortunately for them, this is going to be 7 damage to the face and another Serpent Drake. I didn't even bother counting how many there have been. If any of you guys did keep count or want to keep count, check out the comments below. Definitely tell me how many there were because it was a lot of fun dominating with that deck in the early game there. Just Serpent Drake over and over again. Absolutely enjoyable. So while this deck definitely is not optimized and I could easily spend probably an entire day if I did want to specifically modify this deck to work properly in any kind of meta. It was a lot of fun. If you did end up pulling Haste Wings or Drag Dragon Emperor or Dahimes, you could pretty much interchangeably change these up. Even if you have one Haste Wing, three or Dahimes, just any combination, even two of two would be alright. And everything else just for a little bit of fun. It is just great, great to have a go of. So I'd highly recommend it if you are looking for something a bit more fun to play right now, especially while the meta settles. It seems to still do okay. So until next time, deck list will be in the description below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you then.